Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth tutorial of the Java programming tutorial series. Now today I'm just going to be running through how to make a very basic calculator and what this calculator is going to do is you're just going to choose two numbers and then from those two numbers you're going to choose one of the four operations so addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. Now in order to do so we need to learn about two new types of string today and that's what I'm going to show you to start off with. So let's just go to Eclipse and we need to make a new project. Now I'm going to call my project Basic Calculator. And then I'm going to create the class in which is going to contain my main method. And I'm just going to call that Basic Calculator as well. And now I have my Basic Calculator class. So the first things first, we always need to start off with the main method. So let's go ahead and just define our main method. String args open brackets square brackets and then the two curly brackets. Okay, so now we have our main method. Now the two types of strings I'm gonna be teaching you today, one being the int and the other being double. Now both of these are just data types and the int is only a whole number. So the int can only be a whole number. And if you type an int in your definitions then you can only get ints as answers and if you type doubles in your definitions then you can only get doubles as answers so what we're going to be doing today is we're just going to be using a mixture of both and how you can get both answers so firstly I'm going to show you how to write the int string so that's very simple you just start off with int and then I'm going to give the int a letter so by default and normally people use the letter I so we're going to do int I and then assign it a value. So I'm just going to say 25 and then the break. So that's our first string. Now we've defined a new int, given it the name i or the letter i, and it has a value of 25. Now obviously we need another int in order to add it with or subtract it with and do the other operators with. So we're just going to define another int and another standard one is j. So I'm just going to go ahead and give j a value and I'm going to give it the value of 15. So now I've got my two ints, and as you can see, they're whole numbers. Now they can't be decimals, because ints don't allow decimal strings. Now, the other type of data value I'm going to be talking to you guys about is double. And it's just as simple as it sounds, we just have to type double. And what double is, is it just gives you the ability to have a more precise answer. So decimal points, and if you want stuff like fractions, and it just gives you a more it gives you more precision in your answer. So what we're going to do is we're just going to type double and then we're going to give double a letter as well and I'm just going to choose X and I'm going to assign it to value of say 8.5 and then a break and then obviously I'm going to have another double and I'm just going to have Y and that going to equal to say 11.5 so we get nice actually say 12.5 so we can show you guys that the answer is a decimal Right, so now we have our two ints and our two doubles. Now, our ints are just whole numbers and our doubles are just decimals. So now, in order to perform our basic calculator, it's just going to be the same as our Hello World application with just a little bit extra code, is we're going to tell the system to produce a message saying this has been multiplied with that or this has been added with that and your answer is and then whatever the answer is. So to do that, we're just going to type um, a standard system outcrit message so system.out.println and we're just going to give it a title firstly so I'm going to say addition for the first one and then the break and then I'm going to type the same thing but this time it's going to have our code in which to add the two so this one is just going to be 15 or 25 and then plus 15 equals and then I'll leave a space and then after your second speech mark you just want to press space plus bracket I space plus space J and then your break at the end of your two brackets so what we're telling the system to do is we're telling it to give us a message on a new line saying addition and then under that message because it's printing it on a new line 
we're telling the system to print another message on the line underneath telling us that 25 plus 15 equals and then the reason we have the brackets and i plus j is we're telling the code to do this function first so it takes out integer i which is 25 and adds it to integer j which is 15 and that should give us 40 so if we go ahead and we just test this and see if we get the right answer see here we go here we have 25 plus 15 equals 40 now this is the very very basic calculator in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how, how guys how you can input your own data but for today you guys have learnt two new strings and I'm just going to keep on this topic so you guys can get more familiar with these strings so now we have done our addition one and it gives us the right answer so now we're going to use a subtraction one and as you guys already know it's, it's quite simple you just have to replace the plus with a minus so we're going to do subtraction if I can spell properly and break and then system dot out dot print ln and then we're going to type in 25 minus 15 equals and then after our second speech mark we're going to press space plus and then j minus i j minus i and then break so what we're telling the system to do here is produce another message on the line below our addition answer saying subtraction and then under the subtraction line we wanted to produce another message that gives us the value of 25 minus 15 and then we're telling it to add or we're telling it to carry out the function of our integer j minus our integer i actually that makes no sense our integer i minus our integer integer j which will be 25 minus 15 and that should give us 10 now if we go ahead and test this we should see that it says addition 25 plus 15 equals 40 and subtraction 25 minus 15 equals 10 so now we have our addition and subtraction now it's the same with the multiplication one except the multiplication sign is the asterisk above your 8 key and the division sign is the si uh, symbol next to the question mark without pressing shift so if we go ahead and do the multiplication one print ln and then we type multiplication and then break and then we carry out our multiplication function And we're going to do 25 and then times 15 because that's the text that we wanted to output and then our actual answer which is I multiplied by J I've got a break over there and we can test this one as well and see what type of value we get oh sorry uh, 25 times 15 equals and then we run our project sorry and here you'll get 25 times 15 which equals 375 now we just carry on the same thing with our division using the symbol next to the question mark and that should give us the division example so we go system dot out dot print ln and then I think we have to define two new integers because this one's going to give us um, a decimal and like I said before integers can't be decimals so let's go and define two new integers so I'm going to call this one m and I'm going to set it the value of 9 and then I'm going to define a new integer called n and I'm going to set it the value of 3 so 9 divided by 3 should give us 3 so if we go ahead and type in 9 and then divided by 3 equals and then outside our speech marks we type plus and then our new instance which is m divided by n and then our break so what we're doing here is we're telling the system to do one for addition with our two integers i plus j then we're telling it to do one for subtraction with our two integers i minus j then we're telling it to do one for multiplication with our integers i 
times by j, and then we're telling it to do one for division with our integers m divided by n. Now if we go ahead and run that project, we should get a nice list of all these methods. So here we go, addition, 25 plus 15 equals 40, so that's correct. Subtraction, 25 minus 15 equals 10, that's correct. Multiplication, 25 times 15 equals 375, and division, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. So as you can see, the math operators do work. Nice and simple calculator, you can just define however many variables you want, and then just tell it which variables to use. Now for the double ones, it's the same method, except you just use the values or the letters of your string. So we're just going to type a new one, and I'm just going to call the title string, or should I say double, and then just to show you guys what type of result you get, and then print ln, and then here I'm just going to do, let's say 8.5 plus 10.5, so we'll do 8.5 plus... Uh, oh, 12.5, I beg your pardon, and then equals, and then here on our, sorry, I forgot the speech marks, here on our speech marks, we're going to type plus, and then in brackets, eight, uh, x plus y, x plus y, and then the break, and now what this should do is, it should add up these two variables and give us the answer of x plus y, so let's go ahead and test that, and there you go, x plus y is 21. And if we had to put y equal to 13.55 and then run it again, you'd see that the answer comes out as a decimal, so 21.05. And if you were to put an integer with a decimal, you could put 0.2, then we'll see what happens. See, it comes up with an error because integers can only be whole numbers. If you want to use this one as a decimal then we have to take the integer and we have to type double and this will allow us to use it as a decimal so now we can go ahead and we can press compile and you should see that addition 25 plus 15 equals 40.2 so now you guys know how to make a simple calculator I've taught you two new strings and you can just lay it out however you want and use however many variables you want but don't forget that you have to include the brackets between or you have to put the variables you're adding or subtracting, dividing or multiplying in brackets so it carries out that function first before giving you the message. So thank you for watching guys, I hope you've taken away something from this. In my next tutorial I'll be showing you guys how you can input values into the calculator and then take, uh, carry out a function. So hopefully you guys will be with me for that next tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.